Well, guys, uh, hello, welcome. Uh, to, we will continue with the business of natural gas. Uh, this map that you can see here, I have explained it already, the map or the diagram in case uh, you did not follow up, okay? This map just uh, summarizes the, the, the several steps that are involved in the business of natural gas. We said everything starts with an exploration, okay? The explore, in the exploration, we have exploration companies that will come and do the exploration with all the surveys that we know, several techniques such as the geophysical uh, method, okay, from which they will decide if there may be natural gas in the ground or not. And from there, we will call for the production company which will produce the the goods okay but before they produce they will have to drain the wells okay the exploration and the uh why cuts well okay to confirm and once they have confirmed they have to do the calculations okay the reservoir calculation uh, uh, the lecture is itself is titled reservoir management okay so they calculate and see if the amount of the hydrocarbons is uh uh, economically viable okay from which they produce the natural gas then processes in the field and send the gas to the town farm from which the magazine company will now uh, transport the gas to the end users okay and as i said most at times some marketing companies will buy the natural gas directly from the wellhead and they will sell it to the end use cons consumers meaning they have to transform they have to process the gas by themselves but they have to process the gas sorry then do the uh the, the, the storing okay they store the gas and then they do the marketing but this needs high skills and high skills employees okay because natural gas is a very risky good okay this has require a certain amount of experience and knowledge okay to do that uh, i would like to emphasize on the company on some company which some companies only owns the town farms okay these companies make money in the natural gas without actually owning the gas so you can decide you can decide just to build your tanks okay you build your storage tanks then the people come and store the natural gas there and they pay okay according to the volume of the tank that they are occupying but you have to keep in mind that you cannot store the gas and uh, oil in the same tank okay so these companies are actually making money without owning the goods so if you want to invest in uh, on this map as you are seeing the the map itself okay if you want to invest in the natural gas you have to decide whether you want to be in the exploration the production the processing the uh, storing or the marketing okay in the exploration these companies are involved with the survey okay survey and doing the some drilling okay some uh, I'm, I'm, i would say exploratory drilling where they drill exploratory well and wild cats well okay so you have to decide if you want to invest in exploration or you can decide to do the production okay these are production companies okay these production companies also hire uh, several companies which render some services to them like uh, technology some companies have technology like uh, shell bp and so on they have the technology they have service providers okay service providers and so on okay you can focus on reservoir management or reservoir uh, simulation okay then you have your company in reservoir simulation you can also decide to have a company that offer services in the um, field treatment okay or the field processing of the natural gas i said as i said this is the step whereby we have to separate the gas with the uh, impurities that are in the gas so you may launch your company or uh, in incorporate your limited liabilities company which we all always be operating in this domain okay so if you specialize in the uh, field in the field separation okay 
and most of the time those who work in the field separations uh they they have man equipment manufacturers they have uh maintenance those who do maintenance engineering they have mechanical engineers and so on because they are the one operating in the field whether it is offshore on or onshore okay so you have got to decide where you really want to invest and in case you have uh, enough money you can also build your towns you have money and you have the land you build your towns and wait for those who will come and store it or you can also launch your local your local let me let me illustrate it here you can launch your local local marketing company local natural gas marketing company okay if you have your local natural gas marketing company it means that you buy the gas right from the town farm and you sell it to the end use consumers most of them in africa this is what people do okay because uh they are very rare uh, i know um very few countries in africa where they pipe the gas directly in the houses like you see so in some european countries okay here most people use but lpg the liquefied petroleum gases the lpg the liquefied petroleum gases okay so you it is a very a good opportunity for you to uh, to incorporate your own limited liability company if you want to focus in the marketing okay in the marketing of the natural gas it means that you will be buying the gas from the town farm and sell it directly to the end users and you can still render some services to the big marketing companies because at times they are in shortage or at times they there are some areas like remote areas where they cannot or they didn't focus or they don't want to go there okay then you can simply settle there and build a partnership with some big uh, marketing companies and from there you become their representative in the area where you are based or where you are located okay so as i have explained you may also focus in the last step okay which on focus on the consumers okay these are the end use consumers these end use consumers they use the natural gas okay but they also have appliances okay so some companies some few few companies people they open their small business in the natural gas which consists of selling providing the gas most of the time the gas in bottles with all the uh, appliances they supply and so they supply the natural gas they supply the appliances okay the appliances and they also do the services so this they will be serving services I mean, services to the appliances okay so they provide the gas they serve the appliances and they do the maintenance okay so if you see if you you were focused since i was explaining you see that you have opportunities according to where you really want to focus and nowadays there is also another technique it is the selling onshore offshore of the gas itself these guys are really making a bundle out of the business and believe me none of them has ever invested a single penny in the uh, in the oil and gas itself they stay at home in front of their computers and they actually only what they do is that they facilitate the contracts around the world you will see that what they do is that they have the contacts of the producing companies okay these are the production company those who actually produce the natural gas itself okay and from there they will look for those who have storage tank okay those who have storage tank and also they have the contacts of the some marketing companies okay then they will convince the producer they will convince the producer to store his gas in this town farm remember as i said you may decide to invest only in the town farm if you have your town farm then who is going to do your marketing who is going to bring the clients and the customer to you 
these guys you have got to work with them because they have the contacts they know the right people okay they have the contact and they know the right people so you just work with them and they will bring customer to you to you make use of your town farm and pay you and you get paid okay this is where you, some of them will focus in renting the town farm okay the focus in renting the town farm and some will just focus in selling the gas from the well head to the uh, to to the middle i may say the middle buyers okay because you some people buy from the well heads and the store in the town then from the town they will sell it to another people then these people are going to market it to the local distribution companies uh, i hope you are getting the point let me illustrate okay you have the first guy you have the first guy this guy will buy it from the well head okay then he will sell it to the second guy okay he will buy it from the well head i mean then store in the storage tank then the second guy will come and buy from the storage tank and he will also sell it to the local distribution companies these local distribution companies will now marketing or do the marketing or sell the gas to the end users okay so you understand that there are many actors in the business in the chain itself that you have there is enough space for every each and everyone in case you really want to uh, to invest or to get into the oil and gas uh, industry and your main focus is natural gas then you just have to decide where to do okay Talking about exploration, I, I told you, you cannot do the exploration if you don't have the minerals or, or authorization from the ministry of the country or the, uh, the, 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 the government where you are operating, okay? You first of all get, that is the first thing you get from the line, from the landowners and that is where you start doing it. But you don't need to be a very big uh, or a natural gas marketing company you can start small you can decide where to start okay start small although you dream big you decide where to start and uh, as I told you you can also invest as a local natural gas marketing company since most of them they sell that LPG the liquid petroleum gases okay you can decide to sell there or you can even do compress the gas what we call the uh <clears throat> natural gas to liquid and lng okay lng the liquefied natural gas lng okay lng okay yeah let's see it is lng the liquefied natural gas in the when the liquefying process itself it's something different uh, i'm going to take it step by step in another lecture okay where the compress the gas itself to the point that the gas becomes liquid as i have explained in the previous video that if you remember your physical chemistry when there is a phase transition between the liquid and the gas and when you are going from the liquid to the gas okay it means that you heat up the liquid until it reaches the boiling point from this boiling point some gas will start evolving from the liquid and you form a layer above the liquid okay above the liquid now we will, we will have to do the reverse process okay it means we have the natural gas okay we have the gas it is the gas state then we want to take it back to the liquid state okay so what do we do we simply do we compress the gas we compress it using compressors to the extent that this gas will reach what is so called the dew point okay the dew point and this the dew point is located here once you reach you reach the dew point i mean sorry once you reach the dew point you have some droplets of the gas that will start coming out okay because the pressure can no more contain the pressure the pressure and temperature can no more contain the liquids the droplet of liquids that are in the gas that is why you will see that the droplets will we start falling so with compression we compress the gas to the extent that it becomes liquid 
then we can easily transport this gas this gas to the city to the city where it is going to be uh, regasified okay if i can use the vocab regasified because once you compress the gas this gas that you have compressed here you cannot make use of it right because it is in a liquid state okay most of the time the gas that comes from uh, those who do the marketing they travel from continent to continent they have to do this because uh, the main issue with natural gas is the transportation because it easily catch fire okay it is a highly flammable liquid so the natural gas that you have compressed here whether you ship you are shipping it or you are trucking you are transporting it with trucks or vehicles okay once you reach the destination okay you have a processing plan another processing plan once you reach the destination and in this processing plan you will regasify the natural gas that means you take it back from the liquid state to the gas state and it is <clears throat> once it is in this gas state that you will now put it in bottles and start marketing it to the consumers that means to go back to this step okay i hope you have understood i hope you got some points uh, and now you know where to so in, whether you want to invest or you want to uh, apply for a job in the in the natural gas industry now you have the idea about it you may decide whether you go to exploration to production fuel processing transportation or storage or the last option okay you can still go to the local natural gas marketing company okay uh, well, uh, thank you very much. This is where I will end this lecture. And in case you have some questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section or just send an email to me. I will reply on spot. Okay. You have got to learn and master this uh, diagram because it is very important. Okay. Thank you very much.